I go to YouTube, I max, and because you can see my dice here, you know it's another really random pack opening. If you want to know how this works and you are new to this format, check out the description below. And number four means we have a Legendary Duelist Season 2. Nine, I think this is... yeah. Rarity Collection, one. Six is another 2022 tin of the Pharaoh Gods Mega Pack. Seven, the most common result when rolling two dice, is sourced from the past two. Oh, three, that's a Legendary Duelist Season 1, so we have one and two in the same video. Three, that's Maximum Gold. And wait, that was two threes in a row, so this means we have a special pack that's added. Let's see which one it is. Double three means Flaming Eternity. Let's get the special box uh, over here quickly. Plus, the last one is another 9. Okay, let's organize them quickly. Let's do it like... Ghost from the past 2. Not a particularly good pack, but of course you can see a ghost rare in here if you're rather lucky. Oops. But today I am not. I need some more light over here. Oh. <laughs> My lamp is kind of ignoring me. Stay here. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Right to the holo cards. We have Beast King Unleashed. We have Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. Dimension Shifter, why not? Um, Albion, the Essence of Vanity. Ready Fusion, I think this was a decent card when the set came out. And that's it for the Tin Pack. Let's get some decent blue eye stuff. We have Photon Change, yeah, Change, not Chance, Burst Stream of Destruction, cool artwork, I'm not gonna lie. And there's a Cross Rose Dragon, uh -huh. Blackwing, Sea Moon, the Poison Wind, uh -huh. and Galaxy Knight, uh -huh. <laughs> not that great. And of course, no Cyber Dragon Seeger in here. In Season 1 we have even the potential for multiple high-value summons. Some of the toons are nice, uh, Toon Buster Blader not being one of them. But red oh, that's kind of like the most sought-after com common in this set, I think. Around like, yeah, 2 to 5 euro, if I would have to take a wild guess. Cobalt Eagle, Toon Barrel Dragon, for more toon stuff. Thousand Eyes, decent. Um, I think Black Metal Dragon is decent as well. Red Eyes Fusion was on the big money card when the set came out in the common slot. But by now... Oh, Crystal Bond! That's a nice one as well. <laughs> and Melfi Rebby, yay. <laughs> that was a nice pack. I don't think Red Eyes Fusion has too much value anymore. But uh, Crystal Bond is nice, Red Eyes Toon is nice, and Red Eyes Fusion will, will be sleeved up just because I'm used to it. Now for another great set, in my opinion. One of my favorites and one of the most frequently opened set on this channel, Maximum Gold. I mean, even its name is cool. <laughs> Foolish Burial. Uh, Miracle Contact. Oh. 
trade in. Another card I use quite often. Anti-magic arrows. And it's okay, it's a Stratos, why not? I mean he has like gazillions of prints by now. But I don't know about you. On some days I think the, the gold ultra rare or the special ultra rare that's used in here is kind of too much. And on other days I think, well, it's not too bad actually for what's our ah, rarity collection. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Nightmare Unicorn, Inspector Border Secret Rare, Noise, Effect Veiler, and Cyber Angel Benton. So no special rarities in here, but we have another chance. Decode Talker, Heat Soul, Redoer. Oh, that's a Fossil Dig in Prismatic Secret Rare. Dim Barrier. And, oh, Pot of Desires, another card I like for Grand Marjo decks. So we did at least get one rather um, not common rarity in the set, you can say, because uh, super rares and ultra rares are almost guaranteed, as is a secret rare, but uh, sometimes its slot, it's, uh, it's, its slot is taken by, man, that was hard, its slot is taken by a prismatic secret rare, so, um, yeah. Not really the special rarity you want, but um, I think it looks better than Ultimate Rares, at least, in this set. So, um, yeah, kind of okay. Last but not least, we have the Special Flaming Eternity Booster Pack. There are not too many great uh, retail Ultimates in here, but of course I'd still enjoy pulling one. Let's see, we have Element Valkyrie. Beast Soul Swap, Abare Ushioni, Flame Ruler, come on, work with me, and we have, oh, Swords of Concealing Light, this would be one of the better um, retail ultis, I can tell you that much, pole position, banned card, because it's weird, Kangaroo Champ, not banned, but it's also weird, the Big March of Animals, with Rescue Cat, Desquala, Bazoo, Ojama King, yay. And, oh, these cards are kind of sticky. And Element Doom. Okay, so that's it for another RRPO. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching, and see you next time on Random Old School Yu-Gi-Oh! Bye-bye!